Hi, I'm Erin from Erin Reads, and today I have some books to show you. Um, these are all books that I purchased over Thanksgiving um, from clearance sections and such. My family and I managed to visit uh, four half-price books locations in three days, as well as uh, another thrift shop where I found some books as well. Um, so I'm going to uh, not spend too much time on these books because I would like to get through them all. So first up um, are four books by Indian authors. Um, I'm interested in reading some more Indian fiction over the next coming, uh, upcoming year, so these are books I'll be putting towards that. First is The Age of Sheila by Manal Suri. It's about a 17-year-old girl. Uh, there is A Fine Balance by Rohan Mistry. Set in India in 1975 and um, compared on the back of the book to a Charles Dickens novel, so that should be interesting. And there is The Space Between Us by Thridi Umrikar. I read her newer novel, The Weight of Heaven, and um, didn't like it, and I also tried to read her memoir, First Darling of the Morning, and had to stop um, because I didn't like it at all. But everyone has told me that uh, The Space Between Us is her best novel um, by far, and people loved it, so for a dollar I'm willing to give it a shot. And then last, and this is my most triumphant find of the uh, holiday weekend, is Cutting for Stone by Am Abraham Verghese the only book that I didn't get from the clearance section um, and we actually went to um, three half price books um, and they all had copies but they were too expensive and they were you know in not so great condition and I was very pleased when I found this one which is the cheapest of the ones that I found and also um, in pretty much brand new condition so my sister was raving about this book um, I'd been meaning to read it for a while but she kind of set me off on this mission to uh, find my own copy so success Next up are a couple of historical fiction titles. First up is A Thread of Grace by Mary Doria Russell. She is the author of The Sparrow, which I haven't read, but I do have a copy. Um, and in this one, it's uh, a young Jewish girl um, and her father who in 1943 flee um, Germany for Italy um, to escape the Nazis and um, what they find when they get there. So it sounded really interesting. Um, so I picked that one up. And then Bridget of Kildare by Heather Terrell. This is about um, St. Bridget and it alternates between a historical storyline and a contemporary one and um, was very highly recommended by someone that I worked with in my bookstore job. So um, again, for a dollar, couldn't pass it up. And lastly, uh, The Lady Elizabeth by Alison Weir. I just picked up her first book, Innocent Trader, a couple weeks ago, and I haven't read it yet, but I like to collect um, books by authors, especially when they are cheap. This one is about um, Elizabeth Tudor, so I'm looking forward to reading that one. Next up is The Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. That one's going to be used for my classics project, um, and I purchased it and then was very excited when Sister Raps recommended it in the comments on my uh, introduction to my classics project post. Um, so glad I found that one. And then Crossing to Safety by Wallace Stegner. I read about this one. Um, uh, when Joanne posted about it on Lakeside Musing uh, a month or so ago, and the way she wrote about it just made me think I had to read it. Um, so when I found it on the clearance section, I was really excited and picked that one up. Ooh. Snow by Orhan Pamuk. Um, I just read my first Pamuk novel, The, uh, the Black Book, uh, about a week ago um, for the World Party Reading Challenge, and it was a challenge. Um, but uh, it was one of those challenges that you come out of thinking like I'm ready for another one. So um, this is supposed to be a little bit, little bit more accessible, I think, than the black book was. Uh, so I thought that I would give that one a shot. And then a sonata for Miriam by Linda Olson. Linda Olson wrote uh, Astrid and Veronica. Sorry. Um, and I loved that book. It was very gentle, very, um, it was an older woman and a younger woman and the friendship that they sort of developed. Um, so I'm excited to find a copy of her newer book. It is Breath, Eyes, Memory by Edwidge Jandakat, which I only know is about um, uh, Haiti and the women who live there and came with this awesome um, bookmark. This is a uh, Mary Inglebright bookmark. It says Make a Wish, and I love finding things in my used books. So I was excited for that one. And last is The Corrections by Jonathan Franzen. I've not read anything by Franzen, and I know freedom is all the rage right now, but um, 
for a couple dollars, I was willing to go with the corrections and give that one a shot first. So that is my week in books. And if you have anything exciting to share this week um, or not so exciting, uh, feel free to leave me a comment, send me an email and uh, have a great week.